Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live. This is the Sparkle of Creativity show on Mondo Market TV. I'm here with Shahar Boyayan, and yep. today it's the the uh, pom -pom, pom pom bonanza, bonanza episode. Yes, we're going to create some adorable things. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to love it. And all from yarn and pom-poms. It's going to be super cool. Listen, if you have any friends who might be interested in learning how to do this, share and let them know that we are live right now. This is the time for us to hang out with friends and just have a good time and talk about these fun little projects that we can create with pom-poms. Possible gifts for Christmas if you still have to do some uh, shopping, great for stocking stuffers, etc. So let them know, Mondo Market. And don't forget that we that the best viewing experience is on mondomarkettv.com. On there, you can watch the video and there's a chat where you get to interact with us. I am monitoring Facebook and YouTube as well. So wherever you feel most comfortable, chat with us, but let us know that you are out there. Yeah. All right. Okay. So tell us about today. Pom-poms. Yay. Pom-poms. I love pom-poms. But I usually don't use them in tassels and stuff like that. That's not how I like it. And why do I like them? Well, first of all, they're very easy to make. And you can make nice pieces out of that. Not only thinking about the ball of pom-pom, but how you can turn that into something else. And as you probably know, I like sculpting a lot. And that's what I like to do with the pom-poms. In fact, I like it so much that a few months ago, I gave a course on Curious Mondo just about things we could create sculpting pom-poms. So I'll first show you some of them, of very few that I have here today, but it can give you an idea. One of them is this cute little fox that we have here. Ooh, adorable. See, we, yeah, isn't that? And yes. there is another one close to our product shot that you can see as well. And they are gorgeous, see? And they're easy to make. And you can, you know, make a ton of them if you want to have some fun with that. The other thing that we have created are the Aww. hedgehogs. Little hedgehogs. See how cool? Super cute and they're so, so fluffy. They are, they are adorable. So the, the, all of these we did during the course, of course, but we created really dozens of pieces while we were doing that. Now, here's the thing. You know that making pom-pom is very easy, right? You can do that with a fork. You can do that with a cardboard, the center cardboard. Uh, there are many, many ways you can do. I happen to like, and if you have watched that course, you saw that, I like to, uh, to use this little do this here because uh, there are several things I like about them. First of all, they last. Like if I'm working with cardboard, slowly the cardboard loses its shape and it, it breaks and rips apart. The other thing is very simple to use and I get a lot of consistency. So if I'm making, uh, if I want, I'm going for a specific size and I'm going to a specific piece that I might want to duplicate, well, guess what? They are perfect for that. The only thing is that usually when you go to buy them, uh, you find, uh, I think you find three or four sizes out there and they're fantastic if you're making pieces like the one I just showed you. But if you want to make bigger pieces, it's really hard to find them. And that is the reason we brought to Mondo Market the large and extra large size. Ooh. And here just a, a glimpse of what you can make with them. So with the extra large national, of course I get a very large pom pom. I can make uh, animals and everything with that as well. But for this time, I decided to show something that I think is quite cute makes an awesome last minute present and uh, it's it also a, a great piece for you to decor your home right now right because you have the christmas tree there and you have a bunch of stuff everywhere why not have some uh, nice topiaries and of course they don't have to be just for christmas they can be all year long and so you can make with little fruits and little things are in right yeah, now. they are super in yes. yes by the way shahar marisol said hi shahar hey, marisol uh bonnie said uh, oh, I love pom-poms. Yes, yes. I, I love pom-poms, really. Now, the other thing I like about uh, the topiaries is because you can put in places in your home that you cannot put a, a living plant. For example, I live in a home that I actually have some big windows, but for some weird reason, we don't get a lot of light there. 
Yeah, it's true. So having plants inside the house is usually not a good idea for us because they don't last. Uh, and, and I also don't like if it's flowers, cut flowers, I don't like because I see them dying. That's not something I want to tell my brain. But these are perfect. So for example, if you have a, a half bathroom, for guests, perfect place, your own bathroom, perfect place for that. So very simple to make. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit. You see this one is a little wobbly. Okay. Okay. Yes, so a little. let me tell you, the pom-pom, there is no secret here uh, how to make the pom-pom. You make the pom-pom with the extra large and you hot glue this on some sticks. You find those in the, in the dry flower section of any craft store. And then I put floral foam and I insert that there and put some moss on top of it. So you see that the process is very simple. Mm -hmm. But the, here's the thing. If you're going to put this in your bathroom and you don't have kids around, nobody's really going to be touching, perfect. That's, that's the end of the story. But if it's the opposite, it's, you're going to transport, you're going to give as a gift, or you're even going to sell, uh, then you have to think instead of the, the flower foam, you want to use uh, the, the natural clay, that, that gray clay that you buy for crafts or, or even for pottery. So you would put that there, insert, let it dry, because that not only uh, will make it more stable, if somebody touches it doesn't go wobbly well, like a, that one. It's a noticeable difference. For example, yes. if we look at this one, you see that when I move it, it wobbles a little, yes. you can see right there. Uh, however, this one, notice there's no wobble. Yeah. So it's a lot more secure, a lot more firm. Because the, the, the flower foam, actually once it dilates, it stays how it is. With the clay, the clay is going to dry, it's going to shrink, grab that stick a lot more and stay. And plus it gives weight. By giving weight, if you have kids, dogs, or you're going to sell, especially if you sell in bazaars outside during spring, you want to have the weight with you because the wind may blow and nothing will happen. So this is one thing that you can do with the extra large that I, I thought it was fantastic. For example, I have now one in my bathroom. I have in the bathroom downstairs. I just think they bring happiness and they're easy to make. Again, for the end of the year, when you have your parties, you, you gather together with family, and you have that special spot that you quite don't know what to put in on there, well, maybe one of these or several of these Perfect would go really flower. well. And uh, but Bonnie said, I could definitely see making these for the senior center for the middle of their tables. Exactly. exactly. Look at this. Uh, that's another thing you have to consider. When we come to this time of the year, we are all extremely busy, right? Because you have gifts, you have food to think about, you have stuff to prepare. So the extra activities that you have, maybe in the senior center, in, on a guild or, or anything, or any type of other activities, uh, they, they can get in the way if you decide to decorate with stuff that takes you a lot of time. And you're going to see, because we're going to be making some sculpting here, it's super fast. So you can actually, let's say you have 10 tables or 12 tables at the senior center, in about an hour you're done with this. And you can move to another activity. And when you put there, they're going to say, can I take this? Can I keep it's, it? Yes, it's cute and fun. Right? So tell me, Shahar, what other projects can we make with the pom-poms? Because I well, see you have a, a he, different, I love different things. I make animals. If you follow me at all, you know that everything I make, I turn into an animal. But there's one more thing that you could consider with the, with the giant pom-pom is, for example, centerpieces for the table, last minute things, maybe even for the senior center. So here, all I have is a pom-pom. I haven't even cut the, the yarn that tied the pom-pom. And I found a beautiful vase someplace. And then right. boom. Uh, yeah, you put it there. So you put it in here with a beautiful vase. I don't need to glue anything. This, and this that's is not it. to it's, it's to last for that dinner, for that special occasion. Or to put together like in, in the restroom again, you can have a tall topiary and with a small one. I like this one, how you did how simple is that? Super Marsh? simple but cute. You've got the the fun vase, white uh -huh. with the contrasting uh, green pom-pom and yes. it looks fantastic. It's a five minute craft. Exactly. And you have something that you can use. So for example, for the senior center, you can consider those as well because you can do the pom-pom on the go. Now, when it turns to sculpting, it's really when fascinates me a lot, even though I did love the top areas, but it's because the sculpting, you are turning this now from crafts to more artsy uh, because it can become very unique. So I have prepared some pieces here 
that you yeah, and I'm going to show how to make one of them. These are cute. Now these are fantastic actually. Because <laughs> Look at this. This is a perfect, perfect gift. If uh, uh, I would give to anybody, we'll talk about the back later, but uh, we, we can, you can give for anybody, but you also can give to a newborn baby or, or a young kid to put on the door of their room, for example, and it, it makes just a great, great gift. Uh, here, I'm going to show you how to make the panda, and you see I put a phrase uh, on, the, on, the, on the top. I, use a sticker from with the silhouette machine but you can use pants your copic pants for example you can embroider something you can put the name of the person that you're giving to so it's just many many possibilities and they're there. very fun i love they're these because fun. they're, they're not only unique i like how dimensional they are yes. that you they they pop out and, and they look gorgeous on, on they, the they wall, look adorable wall. on the wall and the fact that you can use the the letters, the words, and customize yes. it. Yes, so, so much fun. You know, if you have a, a, a granddaughter or or any young kid, Amanda, Maria, yes. or whatever is the name. This oh, is this is a cute. Mouse. It's the first time I was seeing this yeah. one. Look at this guy over here. How adorable that is! Oh, I'm so I'm so cute. Oh my god! I can't oh, my take god, this anymore. Here. It's weird. Oh, I'm stuck on this frame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the final one that I have today is the dog. Aww. Look at this. I haven't seen these. This is the first time I'm well, seeing these. Well, I actually, I, they, they are not even finished. Look at this little dog. Before we went on woof, air. Woof, 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 woof. If you woof. like more of a, I, I like wild animals most of the time to make my stuff. But I think a cat and a dog, they always have a place. And we put the little mouse. Isn't, isn't, don't you think they're adorable? I love these. I think and they're super cute. One more thing I want to talk to you about before we start the demo is for most of these pieces, I chose the black hoop. Is that hoop? Is that how you say a hoop? it? Hoop. Embroidery hoop. hoop? Well, why did I choose that? Tell Just, me. Well, because I like it as a frame. If you if you are on social media, you see that a lot of modern embroiderers they they whatever the piece they make, it ends up being the hoop as the frame, and it goes to the wall. That that is actually the latest trend on this, uh, and which is great. I I love I do that too. But the black frame, this is a plastic uh, embroidery hoop, but the the. The black frame gives a more sophisticated finish to the piece. Yes, it does. Right? So it doesn't, uh, it, I have one in wood, so can you put them together? Let's and you can compare, see. yes. And Let's by the way, that. I like, I know we're going to get into this a little later, but uh -huh. I like it how you're using a sparkly background yes. here. Yes. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but it just adds a little oomph to it. Yeah. That looks it fantastic. Helps. So, okay, so, so look check it out. Those two. This is the wooden hoop. Uh huh. And here you have the black. See the, the black. It gives, so you have uh, a different, different effect. They both look good. They do. But it's just a little different. In fact, Char, you can if you put it on your mat. When it goes you might on have the a better wall. View. Let me see here on the wall. Ooh. If I put here on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Look how. Even though it may, well, it may be far for you. Hard to see. But the well, we are used in paintings that you probably have at your home. You're going to see that most of your frames are either brown. Or, or black, right? Why? Because they enhance what's inside the, the picture. Same thing here. If I put this dark uh, embroidery hoop here, I have a better effect than the light one. Of course, you can come and paint this or taint, dye, whatever you want. You can, but it's just more work. It's so like you have the black overload it's right there. It's a great option. Okay. By the way, uh, Bonnie said, I love all the animals. And then she said, oh my goodness, how cute. Right? right? So adorable. I mean, this, again, for, for extra gifts. They already bought maybe stuff for your grandchildren or your children. Uh, but you want to put a decor in their room, perfect for the door. If somebody's pregnant, and, and you can make one of these little animals. And then you can tell them you can embroider or paint or, or write later the name of the kid. So it's just a nice thing that you don't find anywhere. Now, I have to tell you also about selling this. Uh, they sell well. And if you ask $30, $35 for one of these, you will sell. It's not too high at all for this kind of uh, embroidery. Uh, embroider, sorry, sculpting. And if you can embroider 
it, 35 would be nice. If I'm just pu putting the sticker like I did, maybe I would sell for 25 or so, but it would sell without a second thought, okay? So, if you never use one of these pom pom makers, they're very simple. They open like this, and all you have to do is really wrap the yarn around it. So, I have one here that I already did one side, just for the sake of time, and I'm going to show you. Uh, this is how I do, you may even do it different, but it works for me really fine. I put one side here and I just start rolling and rolling and rolling around, okay? Super easy. Now, one thing you have to have in mind is that if you are sculpting with a pom-pom, you do need to have uh, it really well wrapped, several layers of the yarn, okay? It's important because, or else you don't have enough room there to sculpt anything. And when we are talking about little animals, sometimes they have that protuberant uh, nose, for example, nozzle, nozzle, right? Mm -hmm. I always get that wrong. I think so. And you, you do want to have several layers no, so you muzzle. can do that. Muzzle. Nozzle, <laughs> I think, is it's for the like a faucet hose or something. Or something. Yes. yes. So, yeah, okay. Entertaining part of the, the X explanation here. So anyway, you want several layers here. So it's fantastic for you to work with your scrap of yarn, one that is not enough to make anything else, but it would be adorable as a pom pom. So that's all you do. Whenever you think you have enough, try to do on both sides um, the same amount of rows. You just close and you're ready to open that. So let me put this here so I don't have to go to the floor to grab it later. Uh, the next thing you do is open your pom pom, right? So I go to the side that it has already uh, in for my pair of scissors and I just cut that. This is one thing I like a lot because when you do this using a fork, uh, many times you start losing your pom pom right here if you're not careful. Okay, and then I go to the other side and do the same. See, I like to work with small scissors a lot more, especially for the sculpting, but I didn't bring them today. Okay, and now all you need to do is grab a piece of your yarn. Here's the thing. If your yarn is really strong, you're fine to do this. If it's not, get a, a strong line. It could be uh, the, the one you use for tapestry, the thread you use for tapestry. That doesn't break because you need to use some pressure here. So I put the, my thread here, or the yarn in this case, and I make sure it is in the center, so it went all the way through. Then I tie once, I go to the other side. I always over tie stuff because I don't want to have to deal with the problem later. And I tie, and then I tie again to give it a knot. If your line here breaks, use a better one. Not all yarns that are good for pom-poms uh, will withstand the force that you have to put here. One more thing before we see the end result. Uh, when you're thinking about the animals, so in all these animals, I use leftover yarn that I had, and most of them are acrylic yarn. That's okay. But when you, you want to sculpt more in a more sophisticated way, or may maybe you're going to be doing a standalone like the fox that I have here. Well, you do want to use 100% wool yarn. And why? Because when we are sculpting the acrylic, each, see here on this guy here, I can cut this as much as I want and it's very full and it's fine for the topiary, but it keeps its shape all the time. It's always going to be like that. When I use wool, I start sculpting, maybe you want to give a close up Nash, uh, it starts smashing. So after a while, you cannot even tell it's a pom pom. Most of the time you can't. That's what the wool does. And I, so I could go more with this. I could even use a, a tiny a wire brush and I can hide the fact that this is a pom pom. So it's even more exquisite, but you have to work with wool, 100% wool yarn. Okay, now we open this and I put it apart, it goes apart, and I have my little ball here. And every time it's going to be the same, same size, 
perfect, right? So it's super easy, easy to carry around. You can see f that for this one, this one is what is very cool. First of all, you usually don't find this size at all in a craft store. Uh, it, it also locks because you're working a lot with the yarn and it's a lot of yarn. So it locks, you, you, you actually jiggle a little bit here to open. So it's fantastic. So, see here, I took it, take it out, and I have my next three mint color. See? That now, was easy. Before I start the sculpting, do you want to talk about our offer today? Yes. So today it's very cool because we have, we're introducing two of these pom-pom makers. We have a large pom-pom maker and an extra large pom-pom makers. And you can see, based on what we've showed you already, the variety of projects that you can create with these. We have a special introductory price. So all you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com right now to take advantage of the sale that we have going on. But for just $10.95, you can get these pom-pom makers and create a uh, beautiful, 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 um, for example, uh, sculpts like this on embroidery hoops. You can create the topiaries. There's really a lot of potential that you can, of, of things that you can create. And all you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com. Go there. You will see the, you will see the large pom-pom makers and the extra large pom-pom makers, as well as the, the, the black embroidery hoops that we were talking about. And it's on a special price for only yep. 24 hours. Exactly. So just yes. 24 hours to take advantage of that. It's, you know, you should be paying attention to Mondo Market because even though uh, we go live and there's all this structure uh, and you don't usually find the sizes on craft stores even if you did our price is better so you should be paying attention to that okay so let's start a little sculpting when I do this I usually put a container because it can get messy right I'm going to be cutting so for the topiary really there is no secret all you're going to do really is adjust so it stays as round as possible. Again, like I told you, if this was 100% uh, wool, I could put it to a, a, a point that you couldn't even tell this is a pom pom. But with a topiary, I actually want to show, see, it gets messy with the rest that you have cut already. So very simple, and then it could go. What I would do to glue is I would find where the hole is. We have a hole in here that you tie oh. the yarn and I would get uh, hot glue, put on the stick and put it here, and there you go, I would have it. That, and then that's you, quick. you can put little fruits, you can put little things, okay? Very cute, and here you have a nice and fluffy yes. uh, pom, pom pom, look pom -pom. how cute and is it? You, you it can reminds me more. of a little to toy I had when I was a kid, remember those? <laughs> yeah. Now, so cute. For the animals, we do the paws, with the, the small one that comes in the large size, and I do the head with this. So when you get this one, you have everything that you need to make the animals, okay? Very nice animals. Now, could you may use the extra large to make animals as well? Of course you could. Then you would, you would need both sets because you would make the head with the big one, and then you would make the paw with this one. And you could make larger pieces as well. But if you're doing this size, all you need is that set over there. So here, we, we already made a black one that I'm going to use as the paw for my panda. May I, may I show this as an example of the sculpting? So, but it's not sculpted no, yet. No, I know, oh. but you've trimmed it enough to where it doesn't look as much as a pom-pom. Right. Right? Just want to show them the difference where but this is very... look at this the one that is sculpted already. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. See? Huge difference. And, and we can go more. Uh, I can spend a good chunk of time trimming those and making very, very precise. Now, what do you do? So you start with the ball. You decide which side uh, will be the, the top, like in my little rabbit, uh, not rabbit, mice, mouse. Uh, the, co the light color is the top, right? So it needs to thin in order to become the arm that I'm going to put almost under the head so it looks like they're like this, right? So you'd work with your scissors in a diagonal and cut this like if it was an egg shape. So I go all around taking, and you can take quite a good chunk. Don't think you have to be, see? And I start thinning the sides so I create more or less that egg shape. 
And I'm always moving the scissors. Now, a small scissors, pair of scissors here will do better, okay? It's easier to work than the big one. Okay, once I have that, I, I need to be thinking, I'm going to put this under the, the chin when I glue, so it needs to have quite an angle here. And then I have the front, and the front, you don't need to take much, but you also make it even and rounded, okay? Now, for most animals, with the dog, I did something slightly different. Because with the dog, you have the paw. So you usually have a chubby side, right? And a more flat side where it's the, the back. So what I did with the, the, the dog was, okay, I decided this is my front. This is the teardrop that I'm putting under the the face, but I'm going to flatten here so it looks more like a paw. So if we get the dog, it's very subtle. It could be more prominent, but you see that compare with this one and you see the difference that the, the dog is actually with the paw on the felt. Mm, yes. Right? Now, I, I could get this dog and, and go even more, okay? I could say, okay, to show this bumpy side, I need it to be more prominent, and I could do this, okay? And I, I would slowly get to the point that it, it does look like, really, that he's just posting the paws there. I can even cut some here to make that cut more prominent, and it would still be good. Okay, so I have two paws for my panda. The reason I chose to show you the panda is because it has black and white on the face. So it's just not a simple ball of fur or of yarn, right? So how do we do that? How do we do that? So let's think, keep, keep showing that panda there and let's explain. Uh, you, I could make this with two pom-poms if I wanted, but this is made with just one. And I see that I have the front face here all white and then I have some black on the top. So that tells me that one side will be only white. So let's do that very fast. This is a very bulky yarn, so it's going to go super fast. I go super fast and then I, I think I'm going slow. Okay, so let me put this to the floor. It's easier to work that way. And I do all those layers, so I'm going to use the bottom of the face totally white. So I don't have to worry about anything, just having a fluffy bottom here, okay? It's going to take me a second to do this. Do you want to talk to them while I do that? Sure, Shahar, I can talk to them talk while you to do them. that. So, all right, modernmarkettv.com. I want you to go there right now. We have two different types of the pom-pom makers. We have the large pom-pom maker and the extra large pom-pom maker. Both are available at Mondo Market TV. And the really cool thing is that during the next 24 hours, you can get them for uh, our special promotional price of $10.95. So you save, uh, you save a bundle when you get it. And so I would recommend for you to go there now during the next 24 hours and get your pom-pom makers. Um, you, we also have the black embroidery hoop, but that's where you go to get them. And uh, you saw how convenient it is and how quick it is to make these. You can create the topiaries like Shahar um, demonstrated. You can create the cute animals out of the embroidery hoops. It's really quite adorable. I love, I love the convenience of using the pom-pom maker to create the pom-poms because it's rather quick. And then you get to spend the time assembling it and creating your little creature and sculpting the pom-pom and really having a good time. So mondomarkettv.com, that's where I want you to go right now to take advantage of the special sale we have going on and uh, make sure that you get your pom-pom makers and embroidery hoops. Okay, so I did one side all in white and then I did one layer on the other side and then I'm going to think, okay, when I have the, my face done, I want the eyes to be around here. So, I mean, there is no measure. It's just that I'm going to leave some white, put the black, leave a lot more of white and put uh, another white here. If you want to be 
usually the, the, the account is this. You have five eyes in your face, right? This, so you have one, two, three, four, and five. Usually the, the, uh, they are the same size. So if you have here, if you have here half an inch, that on. is going to be the eye. I want to make sure they can see this from the top so they know the proportions you're talking about. So let's, let's suppose I have here kind of a half an inch that is the size of my eye. Okay. I would have half an inch here in the middle and then the other eye, half an inch, half an inch here. That's how it's five. Okay, that's how you keep the normal proportions, including for humans. Now, with animals, we can play a lot more, especially cartoonish animals like this. So I can have bigger eyes, and I can even have more space between the eyes. Uh, if you see the manga characters, for example, anime characters, they always have a huge space and very big eyes as well. So it's really, there is no fast rule here. You just need to understand that I need some white, then black, then white, then black, then white. Okay, so I'm going to put the black now so we get that defined. So I have some white here. I'm going to start the black here. And it's going to get in my way a little bit because I don't want to, well, I can cut and come back. There's no big deal. Okay, so I put some white where I'm going to put the eyes of my panda. Some so here also I need some layers. Okay, because I need to be able to cut and, and adjust and so do whatever I want. So you're that black over top, top the white that you had as that you mm -hmm. have there as the base. As the color. base, yes. And then I go to the other side here and do the other one. Let me. I don't want to be bending, so let me put this here. And there I go. And I do the other one. So I can make the decision if I'm going to leave more space in the middle or not. Like I told you, how big it's going to be the eyes, but make about the same rows and size for both sides, okay? If you make a mistake, you can actually hide that with the, the yarn, but try to be more or less the same. Once you're done, you can cut that part, but I have to come back here with my white, and remember, I just did one layer, right? So I need to create more volume here. So wherever is white, I'm going to create more volume. How do you like this so far? It's fun. I like it's fun. it. This yarn here that I'm using, it's quite thick. So let's see the end result. It's going to be a surprise for me too. Okay. So I'm just adding to have a fluffy head. And then the last third here. Okay. And done. Now I'm ready to cut. And it fell. Okay. So then I come, of course, because this yarn is very thick and I have a lot of layers, it is going to be tougher for you to cut. So it's good to have a good pair of scissors at that moment. Whereas you can't, the other day I tried with one we have here in the studio, it took me forever. It wouldn't cut. Okay. And then the other side. Stay there. See, the, the, the extra large one, it, it locks. So it doesn't do this while you're working. Also, with the smaller scissors, like you suggested. Yeah, they are usually better to work with for this. OK, now I'm going to get a piece of yarn. Since I know this white one is very thick, I don't trust it. So I'm going to put another one here. So just make sure it, you insert that, and it goes to the middle, because I have a lot of yarn here. I want to make sure I grab and hold everything. Let's see if it can withstand. I think it can. I'm putting a lot of force. I go to the other side, do the same. I even do a giggle, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle here to make sure the yarn went to the yarn. And I tie. Since it's a very big ball of yarn here and I need to sculpt, I'm going to do this one more time on the other side just for security. Now let's see what we got. Let's see if we can work with that. If you mess up, guess what? You just make another one. No biggie. It's that easy. It is. I love it also that you can use your scrap yarn, for example, for these. Yes. Yeah. So you give, you give them a purpose. <laughs> yeah, because you always have some that it's not. So now, 
I'm just adjusting to put all the black where I want it to be. Okay? See, I already have the eyes. I'm going to use my other one as reference to cut something similar because it can come with a different In fact, uh, if you put it shape. On the so I have a lot of white here. That's where the muzzle is going to be. And this is where the eyes is going to be. So now I can start actually sculpting that. And the first thing I do is I just round whatever is poking out. Okay, and now I think, okay, so I need this more to the front than the rest here, right? So I can create the face of a bear. So I start taking out a good chunk here. And I, the, 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 the bears, as most animals, they do have a stop where the nose ends, right? So I create that. So it gives me, gives me kind of a guideline to move on. By the way, Shahar, while you're cutting that, mm. uh, remember, mondomarkettv.com, check it out. Bonnie said, I can't believe your prices are so great. Yeah. Yes. So Bonnie, jump on that opportunity and make sure that you get your pom-pom makers. We have large and extra large pom-pom makers as well as the black embroidery hoops and you can see how much fun these are and how adorable the project and there's so much that you can do I mean we're showing you top topiaries and these pop-up picture uh pictures on the frame uh with the pom-poms but there's really so much Shahar, I was thinking about even other things that you could do you mentioned babies you could do uh mobiles easily with the very with easily. the pom-poms yes. right you just create the various different sizes chicken I think in our course we created a, a mobile as well I think so too. I don't remember which animal we used but we have done tons of rabbits mice uh I don't even remember lambs. You can create anything. There, there, if you if you look online, and I suggest you do, you might find a, a new passion here. Uh, you can you have amazing sculptures done with pom poms. There is a, a British there. The, well, I don't know if there is or there was, but it it's been around for many many years. Uh, they used to make these little animals with pom poms. Of course, always with 100% wool yarn because then you, you you kind of brush like this and it loses the shape of the yarn and that's what you want and to this day they these animals are auctioned for a lot of money and they're all pom-poms so you will be surprised I'm, I'm flattening the end of the head here where it should where the have the jaw or the jaw now here the black let me Adjust the back as well. The back I tend to leave a little bit flat for the following reason. I am going to glue this to the felt. So if I have it very rounded, it's going to be tough for the glue. You know, it may undo later because it's uneven. So I do cut a little bit flat here. If this was going to be a sculpture, a standing one like the fox or something, then it would have to be round. But I want it flat so I can glue this easily. Then the next thing you do, so I have the basic. It, ha it has kind of a cheek on the side that I can work with. Then you, s you spend some time adjusting and checking the eyes. So if there is a white in the middle of my black and I don't want, I just move that around and adjust. See, and spend some time doing that. Now, you are going to spend a little bit more time than I am here, because it is, here is a work of love. You come with the scissors, and you think about how you would go as a, a hairdresser, right? <laughs> there is one poking out and another one, so I can spend some time. What I do to see if I'm on the right track is actually get the eyes. That will give me a very good idea if I'm on the right pattern or not. So for the panda, I'm using, let me see if I have, I have tons of eyes in my bag here. And I even have blue eyes. Let me see, they are a and little bit too big. what kind of eyes do this. you use for them? Huh? What kind of eyes? So for this panda, whoa, it's too big. I okay. just use the googly eye. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for, a pair here. 
For the others, I use the plastic eye that you buy at any craft store. Okay, that is this type here that locks. It's important, this is important to understand when you're giving this, that this is supposed to be a wall or door decor. It's not a toy and it has small parts. So if you're selling, please make that extremely clear for people. Also because it wouldn't withstand too much playing around. Anyway, okay. So now I put the eyes and it kind of makes me, okay, see I need, I need more of a muzzle here that I don't have at this point. And then you go. But really the whole secret here is in the sculpting of the, the yarn. All the rest is all the rest. Um, okay, see, and then you keep doing this until you have a good side. Let me see. I didn't bring my hot glue. I'm going to put some school glue here just to try to keep it in place so you can see. But of course I have to put this in, in hot glue later. So here, so when you manipulate, be careful Nash, because it, it's going to fall, okay? Okay. But it gives you an idea. And then of course for the nose, it's super simple. I just get a piece of uh, craft felt and because it's more of a rounded nose, I take two of the, the corners, could be smaller. Let's make it smaller. Let's see. Ta -ta. See, the nose changes anything, everything here, Nash. So. Oh, it really does. Check it out. See, it's a start. Now, I, I still have a lot of sculpting to do in the sense of shaping this. See, it, it has kind of a long head here, so I'm going to flatten this. Like I told you, you can spend some time doing this. This I want more round. So I have to play. I need the ears. So I don't use patterns for this because it's really not worth. It's just a tiny semicircle, right, for the bear. So that's, I, I just double the felt here and that's what I do. So you cut both ears at the same time? Yeah, you do want them to be the same shape if possible and the same size. So, and then I can put more to the side. They, they, they are more sweet if you put more to the side. That's super cute. Guys, you're seeing this before it's glued. And again, you can see here with me, I have a lot still to do here. It's really, a, here's a work of patience. It is a sculpting. It's not, you know, a quick craft like the, the topi areas, even though it's gorgeous too. But then you start giving the shape. I just want you to get the idea of how to do this because you can create many cool things here. What do you think? I, I want to know, is it clear for you or is it confusing? Let me know on the chat. So Nash, you have to be careful. Nothing yep. is glued here yet. Okay. okay, let me adjust here the stop. You go there, once you show, I'm going to put the pause Ooh. in the look at this okay you tell me is it cute or is it cute and we can make it better we can make it better but now, we want to make sure let me that go you there know with you. you understand the process so you have the piece of felt uh-huh let's pretend everything is glue and ready to go you glue the back of the head with hot glue to the felt and then you put one paw here also glue and one part there and you have it. How are we going to show this? Let's see. 
We are going to... It's quite a task. Quite a task. But, okay, obviously it's not glued. But just for you to... It can roll away here in a minute. <laughs> but it's going to be like this one. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, look, we're getting no. there. Right? Yeah. Super adorable. I love it, Shahar. And talk about unique. Super unique. This would make a great uh, gift for um, a baby's room, for yes. example. For a, not just a baby, but... Uh, it's a fantastic one. So here, after, you, after you're done with the sculpting, uh, you take your time, love it, like Shahar said. Yeah. Look at that. And I love how you incorporate the two colors within the pom-pom. That is fun technique. And then you put it on your hoop. You use hot glue, you said. Mm -hmm. And then you can embroider uh, some words, a name. The hot glue um, is fast. You get the results right away. See, I, I, just, I just trim a little bit my nose here and glue the, the nose on top. And I have a more rounded, sweet face just by doing that. So it's worth spending the time. Now, you learn how to put black eyes on white or whatever color or animal you're going to do. I just want to talk about the lamb. Ooh, Look at the tell lamb. Me about the, the lamb also has two colors. I love, oh, now it, I, just, I just noticed that, yes. It's very simple to make. So f you're going to make one side, it's this one. Uh, you're going to make one side, the, let's say the cream color, right? The other side, you're going to make two thirds of the darker color and totally f out of camera. So you're going to do two thirds of the darker color and just here, you put the, the cream color as well. So when you cut, you have this. So, so you see that all the back, which is all one side, has been in cream. Okay. And the other half has cream here and here, but all the rest so is dark. So just to say if I understood it correctly, okay. Shahar, you're going to put... So you have here two pieces, right, mm -hmm. to your to your pom-pom. So one half you're going to do all colors? Nope, this half. So this half yes. you're going to do the same cream color, and then this other half, this other half right here... You do here, the... The yes. ends you do in cream, oh, and you then do the it center a you you do in black. Gotcha. Is that cool or what? That is way cool. So very simple, and from there you're going to start seeing that you can create many many things. Uh, grab our uh, hedgehog. The hedgehog, for example, it has two pom poms, but the this one it's a whole side just brown. And same thing as the lamb, has a little bit of brown on each side and then the white here or the cream here, see? So it's the same technique that you use for the face of the lamb. So as you do it, the head on the other side is one half totally brown, one half totally uh, cream. And you can see that you cannot tell here it's a pom-pom at all. It's a good quality yarn. Now tell me about this little mouse here. How did you do the paw? The paw, I did one half totally gray, one half totally cream or cafe mocha or whatever it's called. And this is Ooh. adorable. This is one of my favorite ones. So cute. Let me tell you how to finish this. Would you like to The know? back, you mean? Just, yeah, but not this one because this is really not. So you have to go with your flow. What do you like? This is usually what you see out there when you buy this type of work. Okay, I just, uh, here is for contrast, I get a thread and I do a gather, stitch, gather and knot and that's it, okay? Okay. For me, for, for me to use, that's fine. For me to sell, I don't like that. Uh, okay. So what I do is I still do this because it keeps everything contained, it's very, very nice. But I will cut a piece of felt and glue here and create a backing, okay? Because this, the, the nail or the hook that is going to be put on the door, uh, goes through here. So it's fine if this part here is totally closed. So the so back will be completely enclosed with a nice piece of felt. Yeah, I, I would cut and glue it here. Gotcha. I like to do that. But today, embroidery and other pieces that you buy out there, you are going to see that usually is like this. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, Shahar, by the way, Bonnie said you give great instruction. Oh, thank you. Because yes. sometimes I'm thinking, I'm just confusing people. <laughs> I thought it was easy. So guys, you saw how amazing these things are. Look, I mean, look, uh, can you, I, this, these are so cute. Are so I adorable. love them. This is just two examples. You saw already the, the mouse. Look at that. Think, look. think about if you have a, a teenager at home that it, 
it has its first girlfriend. Oh, this would make for a perfect uh -huh. gift. They, they are going to get so many kisses after that. <laughs> yes, and these are the cool embro the embroidery pom-pom uh, frames. But then you can also use create pom-poms to create adorable creatures like these little guys right here. Look, we've got a fox, a hedgehog. And of course, there's so much more you can do. You can do the panda. You can do the mouse. There's so much potential. Whatever it's animal really... you think you can make. Really. Exactly. Whatever whatever sprinkles your donuts, you can come <laughs> yeah. up with the idea and create it with the pom-poms. You can also go a little fancier even and create topiaries. Yes. These make for great uh, tabletops, decorations for during the holiday parties. These are fantastic uh, and extremely unique. I mean, you can go from as simple as having, a, a, for example, a small vase over here, create a pom-pom and put it on top it's as simple as that and as quick as that and now you have a super unique super unique uh tabletop decoration i'll this show you this make a, a nice last minute gift they totally do and yeah. they're extremely in right now i mean if you're into to uh fashion and the things that are trendy these are trendy at the moment and if, so if you have one of those neighbors that only you only talk to them during christmas so you need to give something think about this you make a topiary you put some essential oil here so oh, it smells yes. piney or something like that and you uh, give it to them it's look with this vase i like this vase a lot it would look an it looks like an amazing gift. It does. I like the vase. I also like how you did the the trunk here. Yeah. You see this part? Love it. And with the moss, and you add the little and the little embellishments. Of course, you'll glue it onto there so it stays fixed. But look how cute this is, right? And you can you can have fun with it and create uh, beautiful beautiful pieces uh, with, just with the vase. The vase can change the look. I the mean, look at this look, yes. different style right there. So find vases that match, for example, your table decoration mm -hmm. and create these adorable so topiaries. So vases like this in craft store, you're going to pay a two to 50 for those, right? Uh, your, this is leftover yarn, correct? The time that you spent, may, maybe 15 minutes total, and you have a, a nice gift to give. Exactly. It's so simple. Exactly. So all you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com to get your pom-pom makers. We have two sizes. We have the large and the extra large. Go there. Make sure that you get it during the next 24 hours. They are on sale for a phenomenal, phenomenal price. It's just $10.95. It's like really a no-brainer because for less than a dessert out for an ice cream out, you can create adorable, adorable uh uh, settings for your tables, uh, uh, the picture frames with the pom poms that are unique, little animals. Do it. These make for great stocking stuff for gifts. Uh, these make for great baby room decorations. Yeah, I think. Th these make for. Uh, this, is, this is awesome. So, <laughs> mondomarkettv.com, that's where you go. Do that right now. Don't hesitate. Get it right now during the next 24 hours. And we also have the black embroidery hoops that we've been talking about. These just give it a different finish to your piece. And look fantastic and it makes your the because it's black and the contrast that you have between the felt and the pom-pom it just really makes it pop nicely I, I love this wall pieces yes me too they are a lot of fun yes yes I think that's it that's it and that's awesome and by, by the way Marisol said great idea yeah. yes Marisol I want you to go create your beautiful frames uh beautiful pom-pom frames uh, from with this okay definitely do it and uh let's see just checking up but uh, Bonnie said that's a great idea on covering the back with the yes, felt I, I yes I do that with all I do uh, some other uh, uh, hoops like this that I, I do with needle felting and and also with embroidery i always cover mine because what i don't like is the fact that somebody can't come and put that thread away and undo and you know that's not the purpose of my piece so i always cover that very nice but this is unique people this so this kind of gift unique. people are not used to see everywhere they know it was made f yeah. by, by by you right and then it gives you uh, you know it's special I, I i wish from every friend i have or i had in my life that i had something that they had made because you know what they would be still here with me right and this is what you have to put the intention when you're creating this if it's for an, a new kid for example you know it's you making this thinking about them and that's what makes special the pom-pom is just a pom-pom right what you make out of the pom-pom is what's really special 
Exactly. I love that, Shahar. Thank you. Thank you very much. This has been a fantastic ep uh, episode. It's fun. It was it's fun for so me to make, fun. too. I love yes. making this. Super adorable. Yeah. I can't stand looking at them. I don't have so kids adorable. to give this to. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's not just for kids. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with us. You know what to do. Just grab your pom pom makers at modernmarkettv.com and go create beautiful things. Yeah. Until next time. Until next week. <laughs>